Hello there. Here's an introduction to your new project, which is Still Life Drawing. Now you might be thinking, what are you going to draw for this? And hopefully this presentation will help you decide what you're going to draw and what your theme is. So let's have a look at the course requirements first and what an expressive portfolio at National 5 level looks like. And as you can see, it incorporates three sheets, three A2 sheets, and the first sheet would be your investigation drawings of objects from your chosen theme, individual drawings of them. The second would be development studies of these objects grouped together in different compositional arrangements using different materials and techniques. And lastly would be your final piece, which is a large version of what you were doing before and showing a progression of your skills and processes. So what we'd like to see is you developing your skills and using different processes and techniques. And this includes observational drawing, that's from drawing from life when possible, but you can also use photographs if need be. Handling the visual elements. So that's looking at line, color, tone, texture, pattern, form and shape. Exploring different compositional arrangements. That would mean um, different layouts, formats, zooming in on an object, drawing it from different angles or viewpoints, experimenting with a range of different materials and techniques. That's an exciting one. And this is all influenced by your investigation of different artist styles of drawing and painting, which you'll experiment with. So what is your theme going to be? Here are some questions that might help you consider that. First of all, which objects appeal to you? Secondly, what do you have access to at home during these difficult times? And lastly, what would you find interesting to draw? Would it be natural objects or man-made objects? Here are the themes which you can choose from and they're pretty open to help you personalise it into your own project. So these are healthy versus junk food, afternoon tea and kitchen table. Here are some suggestions about what, which objects to choose for your theme. And this would include drawing four or five of the objects separately and then you would group them together at a later development stage. So for healthy food versus junk food, you would include either different fruits or vegetables and that would contrast between the sweets and the, and the treats. That, that could include even just chocolate wrappers you have at home, um, empty juice cans, anything that you can find that's interesting to draw. For afternoon tea, you're trying to set a scene and this could include anything from a teacup to a teapot. It could even include a coffee mug or pot instead, um, biscuits or even could be a picnic, but objects that would set that scene. For kitchen table, it mainly focuses on fruit and a range of vegetables. Think about the fabulous range of fruit and vegetables that you can find from fire red chilies to glossy green apples. There's so many things to choose from, but it all depends on what you have available. Okay, so you, this could also be including utensils, reflective surfaces, it could even be you setting the scene of cooking a meal 
from a from a country like Italy, you could use pasta, basil, garlic as objects, or it could be from India using objects such as spice jars, chilies, etc. If you like baking, it could be objects that you use or or foods or, or things like that that you use for baking. Um, if you don't have access to fresh root and vegetables, just look in your cupboards for tins, bowls, anything that you use in your kitchen that could be interesting. The main point is to think about which objects go well together and not just to repeat the same shapes or coloured of objects. It has to have a, a variation of them. So now let's look at some of my pupils' examples of work. And as you can see, this is investigation drawings and it doesn't have to be life size. It could be larger than life size. Here are the drawings here that are a lot bigger than in real life. And that actually is sometimes easier to draw. On the left, you can see someone has actually started using more than one object together in the investigation stage. And that is absolutely fine if you want to include more objects at that stage. For afternoon tea, you can see also enlarging an object like a fruit fancy gives it a kind of statuesque kind of um, feeling to it. And as you can see from this page as well, you've got lots of coloured pencil studies. So here you can see it's really important to capture a strong tonal gradient in your work, in your tonal studies. Having strong contrast between the highlights and the shadows, but also when you're using colour to be expressive with your mark making. And even with tonal studies, you can try out different techniques, drawing techniques like cross hatching or pointillism. And here is a list now of what is expected and the deadlines for this project. Firstly, is your tonal pencil drawing using just a sketching pencil. Secondly, would be a pen drawing that can be using any type of pen that you have at home or any coloured pen, it doesn't have to be black. And that would be for Monday the 11th of May. And the second deadline is a colour pencil study. With a second coloured study using a different material, combining two objects together if you can, or some fabric. Now, again, you might struggle with coloured materials, so you could be creative in that sense. Use things that are at home if you have access to them, like um, beetroot juice you could use as a colour, as a material. You could use spices mixed with water or even coffee. For the colour studies, the deadline for that would be Monday the 25th of May. So we're giving you four weeks to complete four to five drawings for your investigation. And the main thing just now is to consider your theme and use a planning sheet to do this, to consider which objects you will choose and the examples from this presentation. Good luck.